At approximately 11 o'clock Tuesday night, the leading edge of the Mauna Loa lava flow covered the old Kona Highway, a dirt road that crosses the Mauna Loa Forest Reserve. These images were recorded by the Hawaii Department of Land and Natural Resources. They show the lava as it makes its advance. This is an a'a lava flow, the type that the Hawaiian Volcano Observatory describes as having a rough and rubbly surface composed of broken lava blocks called clinkers. Scientists say the clinkery surface covers a massive, dense core, which is the most active part of the flow. The clinkers are carried along on the surface as the molten core travels downslope, and they tumble down the front of the flow and are buried as it moves forward, leaving a layer of lava fragments both at the bottom and top of the flow. All this lava is coming from fissures that are erupting high in the northeast rift zone of the Hawaii Island volcano. The flows were active all night, making their way down the mountain, and could be seen from many miles away. The lava could soon claim the Cross Island Daniel K. Inouye Highway, but scientists expect the lava flow will slow down as it reaches the base of Mauna Loa. Residents can track the progress of the lava flow from a new U.S. Geological Survey webcam, providing a view of the eruption while stationed on neighboring Mauna Kea. There is a visible gas plume coming from the erupting fissure fountains and lava flows. Scientists say the plume is primarily being blown to the north. Sulfur dioxide emission rates of approximately 250,000 tons per day were measured on November 28th. This number dwarfs the emission rates recorded at Kilauea when it began erupting last year. Big Island Video News will be following the eruption as it develops, and we will be updating our media channels throughout the day.